and everybody was in my room and i opened the laptop and yes i was like even now i cannot you know process the whole thing it felt like i was in a dream i was living in a dream so yes my finally the results are the results were finally in front of me and i could not be more happier hello everyone i am purvi ashmira welcome back to my channel and if you are new here please consider subscribing and yes the wait is finally over the cvt results have been announced recently or finally i would say we were waiting we were waiting for so long and uh, yes the results are finally out the cvt exams like after much delay actually the results are out the cvt exams also got delayed they were supposed to be over by 10th of august as per the schedule released in july but uh, it was not over it stretched till 30th of august and even then the exams were not over in some centers there were some technical glitches and it was finally over on 11th of september so we were all waiting eagerly for the results the rcq was out a few days back i think on 6th or 7th of september but the results were speculated to be out by 13 to in between 13 to 15 september so on 15th of september now here's a little back story on 15th of september in the morning itself the news channels and all the reporters they were like the results are likely to be announced today 40 lakh applicants are eyeing on the internet uh, like every hour every minute they are their eyes are on the internet on the cut site so it was kind of we were kind of panic stricken we were nervous it stressed us and there was chaos actually to be honest but still there were mixed feelings i was a little excited as well because the cut exams my cut exams went quite well so i was excited as well then comes the official notification by uh, ugc chairman mr jyotish uh, and uh, he said that the results would be out at 10 pm and we were all like if the official notification is out it means that the results will be out by 10 pm and then the nda also confirmed by news by declaring it officially on its site that the results will be out at 10 pm and every hour was like it was it felt like a year to be very honest the day was not passing so finally it's 9:45 and uh, two of my really close friends they called me and they were like we'll see the results together so we were waiting for the results actually the result was supposed to be out at 10 pm the delay will the delay caused in the you know cvt preparation or cvt exams will never leave our side so there was a delay in the results as well and it got postponed to like the results will be out by 12 am at the night like i'm talking about night so we were waiting and we were on call what will happen we were continuously refreshing the page and all so again the results were not out by 12 and uh, we were like ab to nahi aayega ab to kal hi aayega but still we could not sleep because if what if the results are out you know so we were awake and then it shifted to 1 pm or 1 am sorry so we were awake till 1 am and then it did not come so in this way we were awake till 3:30 but then we gave up like we were exhausted we were literally exhausted and we were so sleepy that like ab to ho gaya ab to kal subah hi dekhenge aisa wala scene ho gaya tha so yes we slept and then 6:30 my friend called uh, the one with whom i was with on call um, the day before so she said that the results are out and i was still sleeping it was around 6:30 or something i slept at 3:30 and 6:30 around 6:30 she called so i was like what <laughs> my first reaction was what oh my god i was literally shivering and uh, my father he woke up my parents woke up and everybody was in my room and i opened the laptop and yes i was like even now i cannot you know process the whole thing it felt like i was in a dream i was living in a dream so yes my finally the results are the results were finally in front of me and i could not be more happier so yes finally the video starts from here for which the for which you all had clicked on this video uh so yes i'll uh, tell you i'll share with you my marks now so i had appeared like my course preferences are eco honors or bcom honors so these two are my uh, like major course preferences so the eligibility for this courses is one language and uh, either accounts for bcom honors it's either accounts or maths which is compulsory and then um 
two other domains. So it's basically out of 800. Each subject is of 200 marks and uh, so 800. Uh, the total will be out of 800. And for economics honors, it's language. The com language is compulsory and maths is compulsory and then the best of other two domains. So just to be on the safe side, I give all the paper which I had appeared in my class 12, even entrepreneurship. And I did not leave anything just to be on the safe side because you never know what will happen uh, on the exam day. Even if you are prepared, uh, even if you are well prepared, you don't actually know what will be the level of the paper. So I was like, okay, let's give all six papers because half or 80% of the preparation was already done with the board exams. So the next, the remaining 20%, it had to be revised. So I applied for all the papers, all the six papers. And uh, talking about... English, English was on, like I had my paper in two slots, 16th of July and 5th of August. So on 16th of July, I had English, Mathematics, Economics. And uh, I also paid for the general test, by the way, which for which I had not prepared at all. But still, like not even a single bit, I would say, but just to, you know, gain some experience how it is actually. Uh, so yes, I gave the general test as well. Now talking about um, English, I scored a perfect 200 on 200. And uh, then comes economics. Economics also I secured 200 on 200, which is 100 percentile. Talking about maths, uh, I could not attempt all the 40 questions. Now, there was some technical glitch in the center that day. So, I had uh, chosen maths to be given at third. My, like third preference was maths. So, uh, just before that, I was given my English paper and the server like it. Uh, it hanged, uh, the computer screen hanged and it got off. So we were all very nervous. Like what if we don't get much time? What if the answers are not saved? We were, we did not know anything. What would happen? Uh, like it was chaos there in the center, but still we got the time which was actually remaining uh, on our screen and the answers were saved. So luckily, but still it creates a little bit of panic situation. As I told you, I was not satisfied with how my maths paper like really went. So yes, I was determined that I like by hook or by crook, I need to score well in my accounts paper because the eligibility for BCom honors is language, either maths or accounts and then the best of the domains, best of two. So uh, yes, I rigorously practiced accounts like after 16th of July. So yes, on 5th of August, I finally gave the rest of my exams, which were accounts, business studies and entrepreneurship. So the exams, all three exams went really well. I was really happy on 5th of August. Like finally, I was really happy. And after giving two board exams and uh, CVT and then all the added, all the panic and chaos, we were finally like I was finally free for, you know, a month or so. So I was enjoying that, uh, you know, I, I was happy thinking about that and uh, yes, so I scored 192 in accounts and my percentile was 99.3 and I'm pretty much happy about it. Uh, but yes, when I checked with the answer key, I did one mistake, so it should have been 194, but due to the normalization again, it got reduced to 192. So anyways, I am happy with my accounts score and the percentile basically. So yes, moving on to the next subject, which is business study. Now I scored a perfect 200 in business studies as well. And uh, yes, I was really happy when like I actually got to see my results. And yes, it was 200 and 200 and 100 percentile, of course. Now moving on to entrepreneurship, I secured 99.4 percentile. And uh, uh, the score was the, after the normalization, the score was 186. So basically, if I check out the eligibility for become honors, then my percentile, average percentile is 99.87. And uh, taking into consideration English, accounts, business studies and economics. So the average is 99.87 percentile. And I am very happy about this. And I hope I get into my dream college and I will be updating you about that soon, hopefully. So yes, this was all about my CVT results video. And there are many CVT aspirants out there. So do let me know if you want to know the do's and don'ts of this, you know, 
examination what the mistakes which i did and which you should not and uh, the how to manage your boards and cut together because we were done with the boards and then we started preparing for cvt uh, however the ba basic study you know was completed with the boards only the revision part was left but you will have to manage both of them together so how you will do it and so yes uh, drop your uh, you know suggestions in the comment section below and i'll be meeting you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye